first a huge step for a huge rocket tasked with launching the first astronauts to orbit the moon in more than 50 years. Glad you're with us. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Matt Austin. You're watching News 6 at 530, and we're thankful for that. Today, the core stage of NASA's space launch systems for Artemis Two completed its journey to Kennedy Space Center. News 6's James Barvero is there as a massive barge pulls into the spaceport. The Kennedy Space Center is the end of a more than 900 mile ferry ride for the next rocket flying under the Artemis program, the core stage. On its way to the vehicle assembly building, ultimately where it will be stacked with twin 17 story solid rocket boosters. All the excitement for the next Artemis launch, of course, focusing on the first time that NASA's most powerful rocket will launch astronauts. With the barge docked now, they just pulled back the curtain so I can just get a glimpse of the four RS-25 engines on the core stage. My old video covering Artemis 1 can show us what it'll look like tomorrow when they move the rocket off the barge. And you might be aware the entire Artemis program is very delayed and very expensive, but now there's another major issue that's popped up, and it's not with the rocket, it's with the cruise capsule on top. In May, I told you about how in a new Inspector General report, NASA still hadn't figured out why the Orion's divoted heat shield got so badly damaged during re-entry of Artemis 1. The astronauts will be coming in faster and hotter than any crew before. So for a little more perspective on the heat shield, I thought of fellow space journalist Ken Kramer of Space Up Close now, Ken's on vacation right now. He's actually at NASA's Space Flight Center near Washington, D.C., so he's joining me on a Zoom call. How much of a deal do you think this heat shield could ultimately be? Bill Nelson says sure they're going to fix it. Well, I think it is a very significant issue because the astronauts' lives depend on this. It's coming back at 25,000 miles an hour, heating up to several thousand degrees, so the heat shield must function. And... Because it has taken so long to figure out, we've already had a delay. The latest delay makes the launch slip until at least September of 2025. And then a year after Artemis II, that's when NASA plans to launch the third mission of the Artemis program. Artemis III is when NASA astronauts are expected to land on the moon for the first time since the Apollo program. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.